What else are you playing, Kenny? Um, I'm playing Slay the Spire. Um, have ah, you guys heard of this? Yes, I have. Uh, yes, what I have. It? What is it called? I'm sorry. Slay the Spire. Okay. It's, Slay a, it's, car it's a card game roguelike. Yeah. Road -like, but it's a video game, too. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like, um, it's almost, I, I, I've never played Magic, but I'm assuming it's similar to that. Um, but, you know, obviously, like, more pared down, similar to, like, Hearthstone, but it's a roguelike where you are playing through and there's different characters, there's different card sets and all this other stuff. Um, and man, I, I did not think I would care for this game that much, but I've now put close to 60 hours in it. So damn, yeah, <laughs> that's paying a lot for a card game. Yeah. It's all you're playing. Are you playing it on switch? Uh, no, I don't. I think it's only out on PC right now. Okay. Um, I think it released. A oh wait, no. What am I thinking of? Something else can't. I, I might be thinking of something else. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Okay, it, I know it's supposed to be coming to Switch, and it may have. But um, if it is on Switch, if you have one, pick it up. That game is so worth it. Um, easily fifty to sixty, seventy hours of gameplay out of that thing. Nice. So Very nice. yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's coming out later in 2019. That's gotcha. Okay. Um, aside from that, I've been playing Anthem. And I got some opinions on it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll get there in a second. Um, <clears throat> Captain Canada, what are you playing? Um, I I think last week I talked a little bit. I finished uh, Metro Last Light. Nice. That was very, 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 very good. Um, and. I haven't decided which game to start. I'm either going to do Alien Isolation or um, Shadow Warrior 2 again. So I've just kind of been playing multiplayer this week. Went back to Battlefield. Cool. Uh, I played a little bit of Ape uh, not Apex. I played a little bit of Anthem, and um, I uninstalled it. And uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, <laughs> I'll reinstall it eventually, but just not now. And... Um, yeah, no, a lot of Battlefield. I still really love that. And a uh, little bit of CSGO. Yeah. It's still yeah. really good, too. And, um, you know, when you guys are talking speaking about of, speaking Apex of Legends. <laughs> yeah, like when you guys are talking about Apex Legends, you know, I love that there's a game, a brand new game in 2019 that's still using the Source engine. And for yeah, people who don't follow engine technology, that's the Half-Life 2 engine from mm -hmm. 2004 so i'm just for nostalgia purposes i'm still glad that it's still going <laughs> oh this is pretty much the end of it though <laughs> you, you engine hipster you <laughs> uh, I, I don't have a pointed mustache though at least not yet you don't but with the right with the right training you could be the best uh, <laughs> uh uh moose what about you sir uh, you got you got you got some platinums this week well, I got a platinum. I didn't get some. I got a. I'm working on another one, which I'm hoping to have by the end of the week. Uh, so I platinum Far Cry New Dawn Saturday morning. Uh, locked up that. Um, great game. A lot of fun. I mean, if you're like looking for like a deep story, you're not going to get it. But the story is like somewhat enjoyable for what you're playing. Um, I like a lot of the new mechanics that they added to it. I hope they take some of those and put those in Far Cry 6. That'd be awesome. Like like I was saying, like the tiered weapon system. I hope they move forward with the tiered weapon system, like as far as like common, um, rare, epic, and then legendary, but then also allow you to uh, farm materials to add attachments to your guns. So like kind of like marry like what was in Far Cry 5 with attachments and then also mm -hmm. your tiered weapons. Um Anyways, that was a, that's a cool feature. I hope they add to the next one. I hope they add the re-salvaging your uh, or just redoing your outposts. If yeah. they, I mean, to be honest, like if it's not like a viable resource, because like you get ethanol in the game to like level stuff up uh, from salvaging outposts. But if they don't give you anything for that, at least you can like replay it to have some fun with the outposts. So that would be cool. Um, I just it's it's a fun game to me it was worth it was worth platinuming it was worth playing i highly recommend it if you're a person that's like i'm kind of looking to get into the far cry games but you know i don't want to spend too much it is 40 dollars 
Um, it's definitely not like a twenty to thirty hour game. Like I, th I think it. I think it took me. I'd have to look at the clock on my save, but I think it took me about twenty hours to platinum it. Um, I think the fastest is like twelve. Mm -hmm. And I, but I like. But I was having fun with the game. Like yeah. when I'm playing a game, I'm not like racing to platinum it. I'm just. I'm. I'm like. I wanted. I wanted to enjoy the world I was in and have fun with it. So like, I jumped in your game, Matt, and helped you play. Mm -hmm. I, you know, me and Jurgen were playing. I was playing with Jason. Me and Jeff were playing. So like, I was just having fun with the game, and I got was able to get the platinum a week after it came out, and. uh so a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. And it's making me want to go back to the other ones. So I platinum Far Cry 5 this year, New Dawn. I'm going to try and do Far Cry 3 before June. Uh, but I kind of put it on the shelf because I was playing it like earlier this week, Far Cry 3. And I was just kind of like, I, I wasn't turned off by it, but I'm just like, Ugh. like I need something different right now. You know what I mean? Because like I did five, I went right from five right into New Dawn and I'm like, I gotta take a break from Far Cry, so uh, I've been playing this uh, indie game called Live Lock. It's a twin stick shooter. Um, it's got a pretty decent platinum as far as like it's not that difficult. So me uh, and plus we can hopefully have it done in the next week or two before uh, Division Two drops. So just basically trying to gear up for that. So playing that, uh, started playing a game called Daggerhood on my Vita, which is pretty awesome. Uh, like, good platformer. Yeah, it is. Like it's really cool because like you basically play a thief and uh you throw you you hit the square, it's just jump in and then you can double jump and then like you throw you hit square to throw your uh your dagger and then you can if you hit square again you'll teleport to where your dagger is. So it can like it like helps you move around the level. Um platinum is like super easy. So uh just checking that out, playing that for something to play at work. And uh, I think I think that's been about it. Um, I have Anthem downloaded on my PS4, but I haven't fired it up yet just because I wanted to have like at least like a two, three hour chunk of time to play it. So I might start playing that on Wednesday mm -hmm. and, and get into that and, and mess around with that a little bit. Um, so, you know, that's pretty much it's pretty much what I've been playing. So. OK. Well, since Corey's not here, uh, I will I will step in. Uh, I've I don't I don't remember if I had platinumed Far Cry Five by last week's episode or not, but I did that. It's, I started New Dawn, and I'm at the same spot you are, except I think I'm actually I'm actually getting close to being done with Far Cry as a whole. Really? Um, I'll probably do I'll probably replatinum three just because that's been the best one of the of the most recent ones um but uh five has i i feel like the shooting mechanics are okay uh or i'm sorry new dawn uh, is uh is the shooting mechanics are okay but like it's it's a, it's the same shit as as five just like i'm sick of hearing anybody in this world talk um whether it's that weird hippie chick that can't say anything but hairy titties or uh or um, well, anybody in the world, except it, it's pretty weird that they made her like palatable this time out because he's always been kind of a shit bag. <laughs> um, but uh, I, I'm almost done with the story. I've done all of the like almost all of the combat trophies. I think I have to do like the rage one, and then uh, um, I do I do think that like if they if they do, I mean I know they'll do six because they've been. The series has been doing well of late, but um, if they do six, maybe just like try and not go under the guise of a of a story, or may or maybe just go back to the dumb shit that they used to do, like with three and four. Yeah, or um, just or also like try not to be so outlandish. Yeah, I I mean I'm I'm not out back on the insanity a little bit. Like I agree with you. Like you're like killing people and like you hear them yell stuff and you're like, okay, I don't. I really don't want to hear them talk anymore. I mean, like, I don't, I, I don't, I don't consider myself like super mature, but like, I'm, I just kind of want to go, dude, grow up. You so, don't? <laughs> I, I don't. <laughs> I really yeah, don't. I, I feel like they should either go one way or the other, either go more serious or just lean into the absurdity, sort of like what Rage Two is doing. Yeah, but I feel like, I feel like, I feel like if you want to talk about leaning into the absurdity, like Borderlands did it really well, mm -hmm. and. 
I can't tell if they're trying to be better than Borderlands or worse. And I mean, my, my assumption is they're naturally trying to be better because they want to put out a good a good thing, and it's just it's just missing on every front. Now that said, like the 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 hunting, the fishing, taking down bases, that's all still fun. Um, yeah. And uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, see, I felt right. Far Cry One was absurd. Far Cry right. 2 was a lot more serious. I think that's probably the more, most serious of the yeah, as, definitely as serious as franchise uh, Far Cry Far Cry gets. Mm-hmm. And, oh, did he freeze? Well, and uh, towards the absurd, well, way more towards the absurd. But um, was, I thought I thought three was like a really good mix because yeah, it was. But um, what I meant is that uh, I, I feel like they were certainly trying to be serious with two. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, definitely. One, one was almost a, just a tech demo. I still really liked it, mm-hmm. even if it's just for the office space joke in it. And um, <laughs> and uh, then yeah, I like Far Cry, but sometimes it's just it's too much. Mm-hmm. Like it's just too much Far Cry for me. Yeah. And uh, through this whole discussion, I haven't heard anyone mention Primal. That's <laughs> um, I, I, I'll be honest. I've not played Primal, so neither have I. So, so I like, and and I, I also, but like, I feel like Primal is is like is is the is a, is another Blood Dragon, and Blood Dragon. They leaned. They, I think they leaned the either the furthest into their absurdity, or or at least they got the balance right because you're you're fighting cyberpunk dinosaurs. Yeah. And I think Sean Bean's in, in Far Cry Blood Dragon. Does well, he like, die? Probably. probably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was say, what, what I remember about Blood Dragon was it was just, it was like an 80s cocaine fueled like, yeah. rip. Like, it was just great. It was yeah. fun. Oh, yeah. um, but, like, I've not played anything since I played a bit of 4 and didn't care for it. Mm-hmm. But I did look at New Dawn and think, oh, yeah, this this looks all right. But it's it's kind of sounded like I I don't want to play it. I mean, like the one thing. Well, I think they. They. I think the one problem is they're doing. They're doing. Uh, you know how Bond villains are, Kenny. Yes. Yeah. Like, where they'll be like, "Oh, Mister Bond, this is how I'm going to kill you, and you're going yeah. to die without any recourse as to whether or not he'll actually use the information you just gave him to figure it out." Um, yeah. They, the, 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 Far Cry Five and New Dawn specifically, they spend a lot of time where the villains are literally right next to you and like there's a there's a scene in, in in new dawn where like it's transitioning from act one to act two of the game and the villains show up and they they terrorize your they terrorize your your outpost where all your buddies are and you basically finish you you, you beat them back and then they're like yeah don't be here when we come back and yeah. then they just leave yeah. and then they just leave it's just like what it's, it's just, is Blood, Dragon on, uh, is Blood Dragon on these consoles? No, I wish it was. Uh, it's, it's, it's backwards compatible on Xbox One. Yeah, and you can play it on PC still. Mm-hmm. PC, yeah. I just didn't know if it was on, uh, X, uh, like, negatively on Xbox One or PS4. No. <laughs> it needs to be. Uh oh. We lost, we lost the moose. moose. That's okay. <laughs> I'll tell him you said that. Um. <laughs>